Hi and welcome to the tutorial on how to create a mind map using eDrawMind. I'm Tansel Ali, the four-time Australian memory champion, and today I'm going to show you how to mind map and create something pretty awesome using mind mapping software. So let's go. Okay, so let's take a look at eDrawMind and create a mind map. So I'll open it up and you'll see uh, a beautiful screen in front of you. There's a lot of templates here and a template is essentially how you can create a mind map in various ways. We're just going to look at the most general one, which is just the mind map option here. So I'll click on that and we'll be greeted with the main mind map. Now, before I get into eDraw Mind, just a little story. When I first entered the Australian Memory Championships, uh, I came second in Australia and the award that I won was mind mapping software from Tony Buzan himself, who is the creator of mind mapping. And it was probably the best gift I ever had because it changed the way that I was able to work. It changed the way I was able to learn. And I'm really excited to show you 20 years on how this software works. So let's take a look at eDraw Mind. Now, the first step to creating your mind map is to understand essentially the mechanics behind it, right? You've got a main idea here. Now, the main idea is essentially a central topic. And what that could be is it could be a main topic like football or food, or it could be more specific like the quantum mechanics of blah, 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 blah. You have a main idea, central topic, and that breaks into subtopics, right? It's got main topic here. So main topic under the main idea. And underneath them, you can have subtopics, right? So if I press tab right, from the main idea, I get a main topic, right? How cool is that? And if I press tab on my computer uh, from the main topic, I get a subtopic, right? And I also get a subtopic from a subtopic if I press the tab, right? That's pretty cool. Now, if I press enter, right, from the main idea, I also get a main topic. But think of pressing enter as it's going down. So I'm getting more and more main topics. If I want a subtopic, I press tab. So they're the main ways to navigate around a mind map. So create your central idea of the name or whatever you want to call your mind map. And then you create your main topics and then the subtopics underneath. And I'm going to go through an example of how that works. Now, let's say I'm going to do a mind map on speed reading. Right, so I'll just put speed reading in the, in the middle there. So notice how I've, what I've done is I've double clicked and now I've got the option of writing something in there. And the cool thing with eDrawMind is that this little menu pops up, you would have seen it before. And I can go ahead and make these words and fonts and all that stuff more memorable. So we'll look at that a bit later on as well. But this is a really cool thing. You can also turn it off, but for now, we'll just leave it on. So I've got speed reading as my main topic. Next thing I want to do is, okay, what's included in speed reading? So I might say, oh, there's techniques in there, right? What are the techniques? Uh, let's say one's a visual reading guide. Uh, the other one could be chunking. And the other one, I'm going to say sub-vocalization. Do the Aussie spelling. So, and there's more and more techniques underneath there. And then as I go along, say, okay, what else is there to speed reading? I might say encoding. Um, and you're probably thinking, hang on, what, what's all this about? Uh, if you understand how speed reading works, you'll understand. But if not, then check out some of my own stuff on my own channel and on my websites as well. So speed reading, uh, you might also look at speed reading books right? Um, one of them, my book, and there's also books from Tony Buzan and so on. So you can put these down as well. So that's a beauty about mind mapping is you can just keep going. So if I want to talk about the visual reading guide, I can press tab and then press enter and I can put more topics in there and I can keep going, right? I can keep going. That's the beauty of the electronic software. And if I've made a mistake, oops, what have I done? This whole section needs to be under chunking. So all I can do is click on my left button on the mouse and I can drag that across. It's like magic, right? So cool. 
So I've got that there now, and I can move whole sections. I can move sub vocalization to encoding if I want to, right? I can move books somewhere. So that's the beauty about electronic mind mapping versus the written format. Written format, you're gonna have to cross out and do things again. Electronically, it's amazing. So this is a very basic look at the features of eDrawMind. Okay, so what else can you do uh, with this mind map? So we looked at this feature here. So let's have a look, we can change the colors. So if I click on this uh, little uh, option here, I've got some really cool layout options. I can change my mind map layout, right? I can have that sort of left-sided layout. I can have more of an org structure and so on. So depending on what you'd like to do, look at that circle one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't seen that in other software. So um, that's pretty cool. You've also got spacing that you want as well. And it also reminds you, file hasn't been saved. How cool is that? So colored branches. Um, this is something pretty cool. So green is the default standard, uh, but I can go other colors as well. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, can change the theme colors. So if you are if you don't like the green one, I can go to opulent purple. How beautiful is that? I can go hand drawn style. Look at that. It sort of <laughs> gives you the curvature, which is pretty cool because hand drawn lets the brain know that, hang on, this isn't all straight lines because straight lines... They get all similar after a while, but if you get a bit of you know bendy action, uh, you're able to remember a lot more as well. So that's pretty cool. So I'll turn that off for now. Um, you can have solid fill backgrounds if you want to do that. Um, you, know, you can have gray ones. You, you can really do some awesome work. Picture fills. <laughs> so you can go and create. Look at that. Wow. I, I can, to be honest, I can play around you know, this piece of software for ages. But um, the whole idea behind mind mapping is getting your central topic idea, getting your main uh, topics around that, main idea, central topic, and then adding your subtopics. As soon as you do that, you've got a basic outline of a mind map. And then on top of that, what you can do is you can pretty it up, <laughs> right? And, and once you make it pretty, that's what makes it more memorable as well. So I can take a branch and I can actually fill it with a different color as well. Look at that, it's pink. How cool is that? And I can fill each of these ones up as pink if I want. I can change the line colors. To be honest, there's so many things to go through. Um, but what I'll be doing is I'll be making more videos on this. So we'll give you some more examples and some more excitement around eDrawMind. I'm totally excited about it because I think there's huge potential in using mind mapping software for productivity and for learning and for memory in general as well. So stay tuned for more videos. Okay, so that about wraps it up for today. Um, thanks so much for watching the videos on eDrawMind. Like I said, I'll be creating more and more videos as we go along. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>